How you doing guys? I'm back with a little more from abcad.com. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some more of the games that I like playing on this one just because I'm having so much fun doing so. Um, so I want to start off today with more keyboarding related games. So in case you missed the, the last overview, remember I like kids to know how to scroll on this screen and it's really nice because the colors change um, and they like seeing that. So I always, this is a screen to just teach them how to scroll. It's this easy just to have them scroll all the way up and all the way down. Really helps them out just to understand how to use that uh, little wheel on the mouse. So the first game we're going to try out for typing is actually called Story Maker. It's this one right here with the little rainbow paintbrush, capital letter A, lowercase a, yellow background. This is exactly how I explain it to them so they know what's going on. Um, so the first thing off the bat that I have the kids do, and I demonstrate this for them before they actually try it, I tell them, you see the blue square, yellow square, and green square? The first thing you're going to do is click on the yellow square. That should bring up lines like so. So they're kind of like paper that they're used to seeing in the class, right? So this is the exercise I have them do. I mean, feel free to create your own lesson on this tool, but I like to use StoryMaker like this. Because I, I, it this also, this exercise helps them do capital and lowercase letters. Like the goal is to get a capital, lowercase, capital, lowercase, right? All the way down to the letter uh, Z. So I demonstrate for them, have it laid out on the projector so they have a reference to see the letters and which one should be capital and lowercase. I also show them on the document camera on the keyboard like where the shift key is and kind of really break it down for them how to get a capital letter. And they'll, you know, they'll have practice and they'll ha all have their own questions. But as long as they understand the concept of holding the shift key down and pressing a letter to get a capital letter, that's the goal for this age group of, you know, four beginning desktop, um, beginning desktop users. So again, let me fill this up here. Um, you'll notice that when you get to about, I think the letter Q, is it Q? I've done this a few times, so it will do that. So, I mean, some kids get bugged out by that, and they, you know, you'll just go, oh, it's no big deal, it's okay. Or you teach them how to put a space if you have the time. <clears throat> I think it also happens with, yep, the letter Y. So I put a space for Y, and that will take care of that. And Z. Now, when they're done with this objective, then I go, okay, once you're done with the alphabet and you have to show a teacher that you've done your alphabet, you're able to go to the blue square and then draw a picture of whatever you'd like using the tools down here that you see below here. So, and then you just let them go crazy. They'll draw something. You can show them also, this is a good place to show them how, what an undo tool is and how it'll take away one step of clicking that you've done. It's also a good tool to show them like, hey, you know, if you mess up and you want to start all over, you can also clear all. Now you want to avoid this one because this one will actually add extra pages and that's a little more advanced. So just stick to undo and clear all. So once they're done drawing their picture of whatever, you know, they would like to draw, um, you know, if, if you'd like, if you have the time, if you have the resources, you can go to the green square and actually print this one out. And the nice thing is, whether you download it or, or, or print it, it will ask you to put a child's name here, right? So, there we go. And when you actually press the play button, it will open up like a printer setting here and you can print it out and you see it added Joey Smith's name down here, right? And that's how you use StoryMaker. Now, the one I use after StoryMaker, and these this this game of uh, StoryMaker is for is under the Kinder section as well as like Pre-K, I think, and First, and actually I think all of them. But some of them, so when you get to fifth grade, you can see some older games that's more complicated, you know, advanced games for them. The next one, where was I? That I wanted to show you. Oh yes, for typing is called where is it? Here it is, Jump Key. Jump key. Actually, let me show you ty type typing Rocket Junior first, and then Jump key. Typing Rocket Junior is pretty basic. It has cool little music on it, so the kids like that while they play. And like the instructions say, you type the letters on the rockets to make them explode, kind of like fireworks. It starts off slow, and the good thing is that it, it gives them three. It has you know they're actually practicing for three solid minutes. Um, engaged because of this game so you know it, it helps them familiarize like actually want to look for the letters quickly as fast as they can you know there's a point system so encourage them to not miss any and get as much points as possible I think if you get one wrong at the end it will show like hey you missed this many so that's typing rocket that's the gist of that one and then the last one I want to show you which is great after after you do story maker and that shift lesson that I told you guys the next one is Jump key. Jump key is awesome. Awesome. Level one and two are the best. Um, if if kids get past that, you know, um, 
they they do they go on to do actually typing lessons maybe on typing.com so this one real quick has five levers levels the first level is lowercase letters so no shift key I explained this to them also demo it for them the second one will have only capital letter capital letters so you want to hold the shift key there the third one's a combination of the both the fourth one you actually do numbers which I think you can use a number pad on the side too and the last one's tricky because it has all keys but the the little um the little levels that the ball jumps on start disappearing faster than any other level so it's a it's a tough level for sure to pass but you know the, the the main levels you want them to go through are the first two because this will really get them wanting to get the right keys down if they mess up by any reason they will fall down and have to start all over it can be a little frustrating but then you just tell them to be careful and be careful on what they're typing and keep at it and for sure you know they'll, they'll eventually make it so when they get to the top there's like point systems and they get glasses if they go fast enough this little guy put get some glasses you'll see when you get you guys try it out yourself so that's all i got for you today uh, i hope these typing games help you guys out I really like StoryMaker. You can find a lot of different ways to use this one. Um, I've done something where, you know, somebody wanted to do like uh, a Happy Mother's Day and card and I have the kids type something simple out, um, you know, and they can come up with their own sentences, corrections, you know, you can help them out. They draw a nice little picture, um, you know, for their mom, whatever the case may be. Oh, well, why not? And then they have a nice thing that you can print out, you know, and if you have the time again to print this out, it's a nice little project for the kids. Again, I'm EdTech Helper, guys. I hope you guys find this video helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.